Tidy. Deep in the forest lived a badger called Pete, who tidied and cleaned and kept everything neat. He tidied the flowers by checking each patch and snipping off any that didn't quite match. He tidied the fox by grooming his fur. He untangled each knot and each twig and each burr. He tidied the birds from the big to the small by brushing their beaks and then bathing them all. He picked up stray sticks, he swept and he rubbed, he polished the rocks and he scoured and he scrubbed. So, when a leaf fell, well. Pete tidied up, but he still wasn't happy. Now the trees looked bare and scrappy, and so to make it all look neat, Pete undertook a mighty feat. He dug up every single tree. But then it rained. There was a flood. And afterwards, a lot of mud. Pete called in the diggers. He called in the mixers. He called in the concrete, the rakers, the fixers. No mud, no leaves, no mess, no trees. Perfectly tidy and perfectly neat. This forest is practically perfect, said Pete. I'm hungry, he thought. I deserve a treat. So he hunted around for something to eat. But the beetles and worms that he usually found were under the concrete, deep in the ground. And so Pete decided to go home instead. If he couldn't have dinner, he'd go straight to bed. But when he arrived and took out his key, there wasn't a door where the door used to be. Later that night, Pete tossed and he turned. His belly was empty. It rumbled and churned. As he lay in his mixer, wide, wide awake, he started to think, I have made a mistake. So, the very next morning, when it got light, he set about trying to put everything right. Then the animals came, from the strong to the weak, and they lent him a paw, or a claw, or a beak. They put everything back as it had always been, but maybe less ordered, and not quite as clean. And Pete, well, he promised to tidy up less, but if he succeeded, is anyone's guess.